today's menu with the Emiya family, but now we get to see Archer bust out this omrice. And omrice is an amazing, easy dish to make until it comes down to this omelet. No joke, this omelet is the bane of my existence. It is the Gilgamesh to my Saber, it is the Archer to my Emiya. It was so difficult. Six tries. Archer is probably one of the best characters in all of Fate because of his ability to jump into any kitchen and make an omelette that looks like this. Kanse. So the first thing we need to do is make the sauce. And the sauce that he uses actually uses canned tomatoes. So that is gonna be the easiest part. All we're gonna do is bust open your favorite can of tomatoes. I think I paid about 75 cents for these. Just whatever brand of canned tomatoes you want. Then we're gonna go ahead and slice pretty thinly three cloves of garlic. I like slicing these nice and thin so that way when we do saute them up in the olive oil, they do get a little bit of texture on them. Grab yourself a nice sized pot and we're gonna add in about a quarter cup of olive oil. You want a decent amount of olive oil into this. Bring this over to your stove and we're gonna heat the olive oil over about a medium heat and then drop in our garlic. You don't want the olive oil too hot, otherwise you will start to burn the outside of the garlic before the garlic gets kind of tender. Once this comes up to a light simmer, you're going to see your garlic start to fry. Now, we don't actually want it to go too long in this form without cooling it down. And the way we're going to cool it down is by adding your can of tomatoes, watching it literally splatter everywhere because the garlic was still boiling slightly. So uh, we're just going to pull this off the heat and then we're going to season this with a little bit of salt and black pepper. We're also gonna add in just about a tablespoon worth of sugar just to help sweeten everything up, as well as one tablespoon worth of your favorite bouillon or chicken consomme. Go ahead and give this a stir and we wanna bring this back up to a nice simmer so we can actually start to reduce this liquid just a little bit. It's going to need about five to 10 minutes at the very least, but what you're looking to do is really reduce that liquid by at least half so that way you don't have too much running around on the bottom. So now with the heat off, we're gonna add in about two tablespoons worth of cold butter. Now you wanna add the cold butter so you slowly start dissolving that butter into your sauce and it's gonna make this sauce really beautiful and rich and creamy. This is what you're going for. Give it a little bit of a taste, see if it needs anything else. This, this is a, you know what? This is an Omega good job. Now for that little bit of prep, I'm gonna go ahead and start off by slicing my cremini mushrooms. I'm just using four of them for this, but feel free to use whatever mushrooms you want. Slice them up nice and thin and put them onto your plate. Now we're gonna go ahead and work in the onion. For this, I like to do a very small dice for this, not quite a mince, but not quite a small dice, somewhere in between, just so that way it falls into the rice really nicely. Go ahead and give that a nice dice and add this to your plate worth of mushrooms. We're gonna go ahead and saute these at the same time so you can keep them on the same plate. Now we're gonna cut up our chicken thighs. I know that Archer said he used chicken thighs thighs, but feel free to use chicken breast or pork or beef or whatever you really want for this. But for your chicken thighs, we're going to go ahead and slice those first and then do a nice small dice on them. You don't want them too small, but you also don't want them too big. Otherwise, they just take up too much space in your stir fry. This is about the size that you're looking for. You don't really need to do anything special with this. Now, the last bit of mise en place we need are our cracked eggs, and we're going to use about four eggs for this single omelet. So we're going to get your eggs cracked into your favorite bowl. Whisk these around with a whisk or chopsticks like I'm doing. I just, I'm using the chopsticks because I'm gonna use them later as well. But you wanna make sure these are nice and strained. This way you don't catch any shells that you may have lost, but you'll also get a really nice fluffy omelet after you've strained it because some of the white particles that weren't mixed properly will actually get caught and strained through and you're gonna be left with this beautiful little bit of egg. Now, first things first, we're gonna use a nice 10 inch medium sized saute pan to go ahead and make our fried rice. Add in a decent amount of olive oil. I'm using about three to four tablespoons for this. Get that nice and hot, and then we're gonna add in our chicken first. Get this seasoned with salt and black pepper, just enough to give it a little bit of flavor. You're not gonna need too much because we're gonna add other stuff into it. Then we're gonna saute this up until you get a little bit of color on that chicken thigh. Once you have some nice color on the chicken, we're gonna add in our onions and our mushrooms. You wanna cook this until they're nice and soft, the onions are translucent, the mushrooms are tender, you just don't want to give it too much color or caramelize the onions. Once you've achieved that, you're going to go ahead and add in another tablespoon worth of your consomme as well as two tablespoons worth of your favorite ketchup. Go ahead and give this a good toss so all of that new liquid is combined thoroughly and then we're going to add in your old rice. This is two day old rice, you just want to make sure it's nice and dry so that way it doesn't really overcook. Add in a bit more olive oil on top of the rice and try to get all of those rice chunks to break down fully. You don't want any weird pockets where there are solid bits of rice clumps. You just wanna make sure everything is really nice and combined. It should be done when you see the rice really start to fall apart and they don't really stick together anymore. 
Now, one thing Archer does say, but doesn't really show, is that he does say that he adds in some more of his sauce that he made. So we're gonna add in about half of the sauce that we had made directly into our fried rice. And this is gonna give it a really, really nice flavor. You wanna make sure this is completely stirred up and combined, so that way you have all of that sauce just beautiful in there. Now for the omelet. For this, we're gonna definitely need an eight inch pan for this, but we wanna also make sure that our rice is ready to go. So for this, since I don't have one of those really cool little melon pans, I'm just gonna use a bowl, pack this in tightly, and then we're gonna invert the bowl onto your favorite plate. You do want to make sure that you be careful with this, but you're going to go ahead and invert it and make sure that you just leave the bowl there so it keeps warm. Now, Archer also used butter and olive oil to make this happen. So we're going to use both. Once your butter is melted, we're going to go ahead and pour in the four eggs that we had strained earlier. Now, you do want to make sure that you scramble these pretty nicely in the pan with the chopsticks that you would use. That way you get the really nice fluffy gooiness. As you're scrambling this, you do wanna make sure you bring all the sides back towards the middle just a little bit, and then we're gonna start pressing the top down towards the bottom to start, and we rip the omelet, and the omelet is ripped. This is super, super fragile, but what we're gonna try to do to save it is bring the top back towards the middle, and no, we can't, because it's starting to overcook. All right, we're gonna try to flip this, and we're just gonna flip, flip the whole, and it ripped again, and it ripped again. We're just gonna flip the whole thing. Look at that color, which we didn't want at all. This omelet is, uh, this is gonna be used for fried rice at a later date. We're gonna use one egg, two eggs, three eggs. We're gonna whisk, we're gonna whisk, we're gonna whisk. Strain, strain, strain. Butter and olive oil ready to go. Pour your eggs directly into your pan. Give it a nice scramble like we did before. Bring those sides back towards the middle. Continue to scramble just a little bit and bring the top towards the middle. Ton, 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 flip, flip. Nope, Ugh, it got stuck again. Okay, round three, butter and oil in the pan. Strained eggs into the pan. Give it a good scramble, but this time, we're gonna take it off the heat just a little bit more than we did before. Go ahead and give this a tap to kind of loosen everything up. Bring the top of the egg back towards the bottom. Try to get that omelet shape and ton, 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 ton. Come on, Flip, there it is. Bring it towards you at this point to try to get that omelet shape. I think we're close. Now we have to try to plate up, move the camera, get pictures, the whole nine yards. I tried to shape the rice into a bit more of that really cool melon shape, but then we're gonna take our egg and place it right on top. Now, a little bit of sauce, just like Sabre had. I think we just have too much rice at this point. And go ahead and split it down the middle. And now we have a little bit of a fluffy, gooey omelet on our fried rice. And there it is, guys, the om rice for today's. You know what? No, I wasn't happy with that. I know that was round three, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a couple more goes after a little bit of sake, maybe a beer, I don't know. Okay, we're going for it. This is round five, I think, at this point. We're gonna go oil, butter, three strained eggs, one more time. We're gonna give this a good scramble, try to get to that point again, bring in the sides, the whole nine yards, be a little aggressive with it, try to get that heat to really start cooking it, bring the sides in one more time, and start pressing everything towards the bottom. Try to get that omelet shape, press it just a little bit. Can we get the flip? Can we got the flip. Okay, grab your rice. This is a lot less rice than we had before and place your omelet right on top of the rice and then we're gonna split it immediately. No sauce quite yet. Try to make sure it doesn't overcook and the texture is nice, but it was so close. That was attempt number five. I can't get the flip. You're wasting it. Now, I know this would kind of happen. Butter and olive oil don't actually really help with a lot of nonstick features. So instead, I'm just gonna use a little bit of vegetable oil. That way the entire pan is really lubed up at a higher temp heated oil. And we're gonna once again, bring in the sides, angle it towards the bottom, ignore the egg on the stove top, and gently ton, 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 flip, flip it, Paul, flip it, there it is. And I brought it towards me. Traditionally, you would have this go away from you so the seam would kind of line up a little bit better, but we got what we got. Go ahead and finally place your omelet over the top of your rice. Let's see what this looks like. Looks a lot better. It held up, it has a nice gooiness on the inside. I'm a lot more happy with that. Oh, don't forget the sauce. And there it is, guys. This is attempt number six, but I feel like I pretty much nailed it after this. Maybe just one more time would have been perfect, but this looks so good. The, the rice, it looks beautiful and red. The omelet is still super creamy. I mean, you can see, look at look at that. It's like a sauce, basically. It's all about getting that flip, that, that omelet. Oh my god, the rice is super tangy from the tomatoes, and then you have the chicken and the mushrooms, then you have the omelet itself, giving it this other, like, layer of texture that just makes it really soft and really just 
delicious. Have you ever had omelet rice like this before? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you're part of the restaurant industry, you definitely need to be a part of Clocked In. It's a network of chefs, front of the house, back of the house, and everywhere in between where you can download the app, find a shift locally, and just fill in a spot. And who knows, maybe you'll find somebody who will actually teach you how to make one of these Japanese omelets because I will say, it's not gonna be me. Check out Clocked In at the description below. It is available for Android and iOS. My name is Chef PK, bringing anime and video game food to life. Get subscribed and remember, keep playing with your food. This is, this is literally, I went through like a dozen eggs today. I speak all cap with the speech today, caught up in the rapture. I'm still out of line with the phrase game. Let's take a break, pin a long